everyone, this is Joy Paris with Major Film Events. It's a lifetime red carpet. Yes, that's what I said. It's a wonderful lifetime. It's all about lifetime movies and Christmas. So please make sure you stay tuned and keep watching because you never know where we will be next. movie. Tell me what it felt like working with these fabulous women. You were working with friends you've worked with for a long time. What did it feel like for you? It was so much fun. You know, as soon as uh, Larry, Donna's manager, had this idea to do it, I mean, there was no script. There was, no, it was just an idea. And I said, oh, yeah, I'm in. You know, getting us together would be so much fun. And then the script came together, and the script was really cute. And so we got the script done before the writer's contract ended, and then we got shot in June before the SAG uh, strike happened. So we kind of got in under the wire. But everybody was just so cooperative because we wanted to make it happen. We knew the strikes were coming. And everybody was just so excited to get to work together again. <laughs> you know, you've done so many things in your career. What did you come away with? And a personal note, doing this particular project with these fabulous women. What did you take away? You know, I think that as much fun as the movie was to make, I felt like my friendships with some of the ladies really deepened. That we've been friends and known each other for years and sometimes worked to eat with each other, some of us. But uh, this time, just sitting on this set and chatting and, and uh, not at a dinner party where you're always going off with other people. Uh, just coming away with much deepened friendships and the older you get the more you value that it felt good didn't it it felt good. it felt great no it felt great it felt great I felt closer to them than ever before and you know so that was good well you have so many fans out there so of course your social media is all under your name right they all have to just go to Morgan Fairchild and they can find you um, yes mostly on on uh, Twitter or X I'm uh, more fair first four letters of each name on Instagram my Morgan Fairchild one, not O one, which is a fake one, and then uh, and and mostly I'm on Threads, I'm on Blue Sky, I'm on Post, I'm on Mastodon. Uh, but I, hopefully, if they Google, you know, Morgan Fairchild for each one, they'll find me. <laughs> well, we will follow you, Morgan, and have fun tonight. And you look fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think uh, Lifetime movies touch on the heartstrings and especially at Christmas time and Larry Thompson putting this movie together for Lifetime was just a dream come true for me because I started in the business with, with Morgan Fairchild and Donna Mills and when he called and asked me if I'd be interested in doing this I'd never done a Lifetime movie so now I'm a part of the Lifetime family and it feels so good it was um, an incredible experience it's a beautiful little movie, it's campy but it's heartfelt and touching and it's about love and friendship and forgiveness and journey of finding your feet with a young love story in it. And uh, I'm proud of it. You know, what did you come away with doing this movie? You just mentioned a bunch of wonderful things, but what did you take away personally? And you thought, wow, I came away with that. What would that be for you? I really enjoyed working with everybody, all of my friends, co-stars. It feels really good to be a part of Lifetime. I love the work they do, the power of women, what tonight's all about, and the army wives, and they are the ones that get left behind in the holidays. And so, yes, there's a lot to be said for, for Lifetime. Well, you look fabulous. I'm glad you enjoyed the movie, and I cannot wait to see the movie and have a wonderful time tonight. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I, want, I want to wear everything you have on right now. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, that's just, <laughs> no, I'm very flattered. Thank you. No, but you know what I love about you? You've always.
always had a dignity and class about you, and I really appreciate that as a fan, that you bring that sensibility. So I know you're in this fabulous series, this film, Story with These Women. What was that like for you, with working with these fabulous women? All of these women? Yes. Because I've known them forever, except for Nicolette, she was new to me, but the rest of us have known each other for a long time, and we all have a certain camaraderie from the days where there were just three networks. Most of us were on CBS. Yeah, I know, exactly. So you had to rush home to see our show or you missed it. So there was no place else to get it. So I think it, that made it exciting. And we would get together because the affiliates would have a big banquet. And it just wasn't as spread out as it is now. I wish I could talk to you more. I have a million questions. But as now, it's not the time. So have a wonderful time tonight and enjoy yourself. And again, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. So tell me about this fabulous group of women that you've worked with, ever known. What was that experience like for you? It was really fun. I mean, I knew about the movie from the very beginning because Larry Thompson is my manager. And so he, you know, put it all together. And so I knew you know everybody who was being cast how you know how is uh, how was being written the writers everything um, so I, I felt like almost that I was one of the producers you know because I had so much to do about it yeah now you had a young girl on set named Taylor and she mentioned Taylor mentioned working with you what was it like shaping Taylor Taylor she was wonderful she's a lovely young actress you know it's really, and you know, my daughter's in the movie. Yeah, my daughter's in the movie. She plays my daughter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know you have to go, but if you can send some Christmas wishes to the audience, what would you want to wish for people out there today for Christmas? Well, peace. Peace, please. There's so much war going on. Too many places. War is a stupid thing. It's only the men who go to war, isn't it? <laughs> we wouldn't do that, would we? No. <laughs> Thank you so much and have a wonderful time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me about the fabulous women. How's that? They're, they're fun, fabulous, and feisty. It's so much fun to work with them, really. And they're all pros. Everybody knows their stuff. And the fun thing for me is I've always played drama. To play comedy, and, and it was it was wonderful and different and challenging for me because they're, the timing is different. It's faster, and I was used to talking like to text, like text Estrella. I thought, hell, how do I do this? I got to talk fast, and so they helped me. Um, the, but just being with the girls, um, because it's all for me, all about pacing. Because it's the energy. I have a lot of energy, but the energy that you pour into that the comedic role—it's faster. There's no time to go thinking about an emotion. No, they're they're on to some other thing, you know. So I had to play catch up. I had to get on my skateboard and talk like hell, and I did it. What would be your Christmas wish? Ooh, I get a lot of wishes. Do I look at that camera? Christmas wish for all of you. Um, I think what we're missing right now is a lot of love. Everybody after COVID, I think they were just torn apart. Didn't, nobody knew what to do, who they were, uh, or where to go. They were just kind of hanging in limbo. And I think that with love, I'd love to go around and hug everybody and just tell them it's going to be okay. I think you have to be really firm in who you are, what you want out of this beautiful life we have, and be grateful. Fill your life with gratitude. And um, because if you're not grateful for all the things that we do have, then um, what's it all about? Thank you so much for your Christmas wishes and have fun tonight. Is with ladies of the 80s, what was it like for you being on the show with them? It was the most formative experience of my life. I mean, I'm working with five of the most iconic legends, divas. I'd like
like to say I was the sixth diva now. And it's so wonderful because in the movie, they're kind of giving me like a, a transformation, a makeover. They're like my fairy godmothers. And I just keep telling everyone that it was exactly the same thing off screen too. I mean, all of the lessons they were teaching me as I'm entering my career is just so valuable and I'm so grateful. Well, you sort of answered my next question. What did you learn from them or what did you take away doing this with them? I mean, everything. I, it's, it was so wonderful to work with such a female heavy cast and crew. I mean, our wonderful director, Christy Will Wolf, too. And it was such a, um, such a life-changing experience and it really changed my perspective of the industry and they really taught me how to be strong, be a strong woman in this male-dominated industry and know my angles and pronounce my words and make sure that I'm articulate and clear and understood. And they're all dressed fabulously. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes. Well, before you leave the carpet, how do people find you, follow you, and stay in touch? Your fans. Uh, my Instagram is Tan Thompson. And this movie's coming out December 2nd, so tune in on Lifetime. And watch Taylor. Okay, just watch Taylor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's all about Christmas. You're in um, one of the Lifetime movies. Can you tell us what character you play in the movie and what is it about real quickly? Yeah. The movie is called Holiday, uh, the Holiday Proposal Plan. It's coming out on December 16th. I play Sunny Kravitz. She's a she's a travel journalist, and she finds a way to mix uh, her business and getting her friend's boyfriend to propose to her. <laughs> I want to see it. To propose to her friend, not to her. Not to her. Uh, but while she's there, it ends up she ends up finding love again herself. And it's actually it's a really funny film. It's by uh, written and directed by Jake Helgren, and we had a blast while we were doing it in the actual snow up in Big Bear. So I hope people enjoy it. Why do you think the Lifetime brand is so popular with audiences? At, during the holidays? The Lifetime brand, in general. I mean, especially during the holidays as well. Well, I think... I know for me personally, when I watch movies with my mom and my sisters, when we really wanted to get in and just like chill with each other and learn life lessons, like I would never do that. Don't you ever say that it's a tower. This is what you do. It was always with Lifetime. And now with, you know, they, they were, they were, she actually mentioned this and it's true because I was in them, like the first to really kind of diversify even, like have diversity in holiday films and kind of show all of America in their films. And um, I don't know. I, I love working for them. I've been working for them for a long time. We love Lifetime. Yes, yes. For your Christmas memories, can you share any memories for Christmas that really resonated with you and you're like, oh my God, that was the Christmas. What was that like, if there was any? You probably have a lot, but I, the best one. No, seriously, I feel like I'm really blessed because there are so many. My parents are immigrants here, and so when we, we grew, I grew up on the East Coast, and the holidays, you know, they came through a lot to get here and worked very hard. and the culture and they maintain there's something about the holidays that Christmas you know Christmas time is where you get to just really lavish on your family food yes. love yes. togetherness and we really did that because we were very grateful and blessed to be together and to all be here and be safe so the holidays are really special for us I totally resonate with that scene that my parents are from the Caribbean so we had the same sort of thing right when you look at your journey from everything you've done, what do you see for yourself in 2024? Is there a platform you want to focus on that you feel like this is my time to do this particular thing? What would that be for you? I've been, I've been doing a lot of work in uh, black maternal health because of the experience I had with my kids and um, I want to do more with that. Um, I just did uh, Diva Simply Singing and when, when I did that, it hasn't aired yet, but um, I announced uh, an initiative that along with Shirley Ralph's organization, the Diva Foundation to get news out, to get awareness out about the Momnibus bill. I want to really work with that and work with the reproductive justice community to help push that word out. That's their, their one of their main goals right now. Um, and I also, I've been singing. I put a holiday EP out. I'm putting it out December 1st. I'm going to sing a song from it tonight. And hopefully the opportunities will come for me to sing more because it's just really fun. I really like it and it's been a long time. So. Well, you look amazing, but before we leave the carpet, social media so fans can find you, follow you, and stay in touch. All of it. Yes. Um, all my social media is uh, at Tatiana, which ends with an A, and then Ali, which starts with an A. So there's an A in the middle. And um, uh, 
uh, yeah, you'll see everything that I'm doing there, also the music. I cannot wait. And you wrote this song yourself tonight? No, I didn't. It's written by a, a wonderful uh, songwriter, singer-songwriter. Her name's Lizzie O in Amsterdam. And I was blessed enough that she let me, you know, that let us arrange it and, and add it to the EP. Yeah, it's called What Christmas Really Means. So hopefully you'll like it if you're here. Well, thank you so much. And I can't wait what Christmas really means. I like that title. What does Christmas really mean to you? A lot of the things in this song, that's why I wanted to sing it. What it really means is being grateful, especially with everything that's happening in the world right now. When I, I mean, I walk into my baby's room at night and I just hold them and kiss them. And I'm so thankful. My parents are still here. We're healthy and we're together. And that's what it is. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And have a wonderful night. Thanks. It's all about Lifetime. And you have been amazing out here um, doing many, many things on Lifetime. A little bird, a little birdie told me all about it. So tell me, why is, it, why is this brand so fabulous? Why do people love it so much? This network is by women for women. We make incredible content. Um, I, and what I, what I really love about working for Lifetime is the way that they, they really practice what they preach. They're really for women and about women and they are very, they're enablers. Like I, I have gotten to produce my first two, have, I've now produced two films for them and I've written, I've written, no three films. I produced three films for them and I've written two. And to have them um, encourage me, lift me up, support me every step of the way, I have had the most incredible experience with the executives, um, with everybody in the leadership at Lifetime. It's it's really, it's, I'm, it's a wonderful family here. So what does 2024 look like for you when it comes to what you want to do with your craft and your brand? 2024. I'm developing a few things right now, so I have fingers, toes, everything crossed that those things go. I'm writing a lot. Um, I want, I mean, my first love is always acting, has always been acting, and a lot of my producing and writing is in order for me to act in those roles, and um, and I'm really, 2024, I would love to direct in 2024. I'm, I'm about to go direct a radio play, um, and I've done a little bit of directing. I did a web series for Grey's Anatomy uh, many, several several years ago, but um, but I feel like I'm really gearing up and ready to dive into that, because I've been writing and producing and acting, now it's time to direct. All right, everyone, let's carefully it's Sarah's time to direct yes. so who's ever who's watching and want to know hire Sarah right now there we go <laughs> so what's your social media before you leave so people can follow you and stay in touch Instagram is at the Sarah Drew and Twitter is or X sorry <laughs> wow you couldn't tell what my feelings are about that um, <laughs> of course not of course not uh, is Sarah Drew uh, Twitter, uh, no, TikTok, I think is the Sarah Drew also, I'm pretty sure. I'm mostly on Instagram, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Well, you look fabulous. Enjoy tonight, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you.